If someone is making you feel a certain way, you're deciding their behavior is making you feel a certain way. You're giving your power to them. You're giving your power away to them by their behavior, whatever they're doing, making you do something. What if nobody can make you do anything? <laughs> Right? What if you get to decide that someone can behave in a certain way and I can understand that that really has nothing to do with me, that has everything to do with what they've got going on at an emotional level and mental level. They're projecting their trauma, their stuff, their emotional opinions, perspectives, not good enoughness, unworthiness, fear, anger, blah, 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 onto me. And I have the choice. I can accept it or I can reject it. How we act, react and interact with the world all comes from our opinions, beliefs, perspectives and emotions of ourselves. That includes other people. How we act, interact and react to other people comes from what we believe to be true about ourselves. So you can choose that someone's behaviour is not acceptable. What are you available for? Your immediate environment can make you feel let down and try to have a knock-on effect. It can, they, it can try to have a knock-on effect on your confidence. Yep, yeah, absolutely. But you get to decide at the end of the day, am I going to give my power away to this external thing? Or with practice, can I decide that nobody makes me feel bad? No, nobody has the power to make me feel anything. I choose how I feel. I have emotional empowerment I have emotional maturity. Everybody behaves based on their emotional age, right? Based on the on probably the first time that they experience something traumatic. Most of the world are walking around behaving like toddlers, stroppy, tantrumy toddlers, because they experienced something traumatic at a young age and never transformed it, never healed from it. They probably attempted to heal from it, but their emotional growth was stunted due to either a parent or a guardian or somebody telling them not to feel or not to stop crying, uh, shut up, don't do this. You get to choose how you feel in every situation. And yes, we are empathic. So we are going to feel when other people behave certain ways. We're going to feel. Those feelings aren't bad or wrong. But we get to decide what we do with that information, what we get to do with that emotion. We can feel it for a moment or two. We can allow it to move through our bodies because remember, we're not ignoring, we're not suppressing, we're allowing. But what are we available for? What are you available for? What am I available for? What am I unavailable for? Because in order to know what you do want, sometimes we have to know what we don't want. So what are you not available for in terms of behaviour from other people, in terms of your environment, your immediate environment? Are you available for kindness, respect? love, trust, security, safety, comfort, effortlessness, satisfaction. What are you available for? What are you not available for? Bad behavior, rudeness, bad manners, projection, other people projecting them, their stuff onto you. If you'd like to visualize, then you can visualize this bubble around your body because your body doesn't know the difference between what's real and what's imagined at a cellular level. So you can imagine there's like a bubble, a protective bubble around your body and other people's stuff just goes boing <laughs> and like bounces off of it back into the ether, back to them if you want. What's that saying? I'm rubber, you're glue. <laughs> Whatever you say bounces off me and sticks back to you. What are you available for? What are you not available for? I would love to know. And this is boundary setting. This is like boundary setting 101. What you're not available for is your boundaries. And we get taught and encouraged to not have boundaries. We just have to sacrifice people, please. Burn out, work, 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 do, 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 do all the time. And that's not helping anyone. That's not useful for anyone, is it? And we're teaching our children or family members, we're teaching other people to not have boundaries. 